You're about to get dropped a great story <laughs> and a meet a great person because we're going to talk about Heaven Drop today and this is an amazing story. So hang on for the next 10 minutes. Pinellas Live coming at you. <laughs> and we're live. Good morning, everybody. It's Robert Barber with Pinellas Live, your digital mayor coming at you with our Monday morning time with Elizabeth Bunbury. And we got a super, super guest for you this morning. And I'm really excited about bringing the message that Nancy Giles has to you this morning. But just real quick, we're a seven to 10 minute daily web show where we like to celebrate the exceptional life that is Pinellas. And how we do that is celebrating the people, the events, the places, the stories that are woven together to make this such an exceptional place. And a lot of that has to do with the stories and the stories that people have to tell and what they're doing in their community. And so again, I'm super excited about what we do here. We're sponsored by the Muller and Barber real estate team, but I'm gonna turn over my Monday morning as usual to Elizabeth. So good morning. Good morning, Robert. It's always wonderful good. to see you in the morning. Cheers, <laughs> cheers. He, he always gets a big Starbucks, so he is ready to so, go. So take it away, here we go. Um, Nancy Giles um, is with Evergreen Life Services, and Nancy and I have been friends a long time. But what I have loved, and it, you, we just said it's been three years, Mm -hmm. that you've been working, doing the social enterprise, heaven drop. My first thing that I want them to know is, what is a social enterprise? Oh, that, that's, that's right. a tricky question. People um, have a difficult time with that. I sort of simplify it down to it's earning income to support a mission. It can be a for-profit company, it can be a non-profit company, it can be an entrepreneur. There are a lot of different ways that people start businesses to earn income to support a mission of some sort. Because you are doing an incredible thing called Heaven Dropped. And it is a social enterprise. And you, so, so tell them a little bit about Heaven Dropped and then why you do it. I mean, why did it start and how did it start? And who's it benefiting? Oh, it's, it's, it's an amazing um, sort of program of social enterprise for a nonprofit Evergreen Life Services. Um, I came on board when it was structured and set up and ready to go, but I had known the people involved prior to that. Mm -hmm. So when I started it here, it already had some basis, some business plans, some development. But the, the passion about it is that it takes military parachutes that can't be used to jump anymore in the military, and we purchase them, and then people with disabilities of all kinds make products out of them. Mm -hmm. So we're actually employing them at minimum wage. We, we insisted on that three and a half years ago when we started, so we haven't changed in that time frame. Um, we continue to pay minimum wage. Evergreen Life Services is in eight states, mm -hmm. uh, but here locally in Pinellas, we partner with Louise Graham Regeneration it's a great organization. Center, oh. and uh, they're awesome. Also a neighbor of Elizabeth, <laughs> and so I'm right down the street, and I have my office there on a national basis. It's where all final product comes in and goes out and is then uh, sold. Of course, we sell the products, the amazing things they make out of parachutes in order to keep people employed, but we also give back to veteran organizations. So it's kind of a win-win-win. Right. We're recycling, we're employing people with disabilities, and we're giving back to veteran organizations. Now, I love the, I mean, the products are awesome. Well, children, you know, I mean, well, I'm the, the we're, we're going to get there first, but kids in their capes. You always have to do kids and pets first. Okay. But these are capes that you make for, right. and we make the them, this is for a hospital use. Mm -hmm. We also make them plain okay. so that uh, law enforcement or firefighters could logo them and use them for their purposes. So basically, we have some of these made up, but the goal is to be able to tailor them to whatever organization sure. would like to use them. Right. How cool if, uh, if a law enforcement officer might have to remove a child from a difficult situation. 
and hand them a hero cape to sure. help them get through it. And so. it's boys or girls. Correct. I love it comes that. in yellow. <laughs> comes in yellow and pink, so it, it has both options. And then for the dogs, because anything with children and dogs, right. people love. You have the scarves. The pet bandanas, yep. and we have them in the tie which this one is, and then we also have them where a collar will go through them. Gotcha. And so um, you can choose. Yep. We've had more success with the collar ones right. because mm -hmm. you don't have to have the inches just right for mm -hmm. the neck. So we do sell a lot of these, and we have a spokes dog who has a disability named Snapper. Oh, that's awesome. And Snapper does a lot of exhibits and a lot of events with us and models. Mm -hmm. uh, she also wears our eyeglass holder and glasses <laughs> and our necklace because she, being named Snapper, everybody's thrown by that. So she wears pink necklaces. So mm, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> but all these have been made out of parachutes. Correct. Okay. Yeah. And the necklace now is an awesome design. Um, it, it looks like you're having a parachute bead and then a fancy bead. Mm -hmm. And we've invested some, some money into the beads so that they're a really quality product. Sure. And interestingly, we, they're made, their design is, they're just a big circle sewn. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, you can tie them and make them all different lengths. Sure. So uh, tonight I'll untie that and then I might wear it long tomorrow. So it's very cool that it gives you that flexibility every day. Mm -hmm. And these, uh, the necklaces are probably one of our biggest sellers. Uh, the necklaces and now I didn't bring them today, but we now have men's ties. Oh really? So our hottest new product is on our website. Okay. And we have them, the artwork on them were, was done by our Fort Worth and Dallas Art Center. Oh, I've been there. And they, they have great They actually center. did, one is blue and sort of gray tones, right. one is tree frogs in tiny little pieces. Wow. So you gotta really look at it mm. to see the tree frog. And then, of course, our favorite for Heaven Drop that is a patriotic one of someone saluting in, in Navy with the red and white stripe. How many people do you employ? Um, overall, uh, there are 1,300 people served by Evergreen That's awesome. in, in eight states. Uh, but we also contract with different agencies mm -hmm. that have people with disabilities like Louise Graham. Mm -hmm. So overall, probably, um, Eight, probably a thousand people or so. Wow. Um, there are some people we serve that don't have the motor skills mm -hmm. and, and can't do sure. this, but we, we generally break it up into jobs so that they can. One job. And we, we also make lanyards and badge holders out of the parachutes. And the lanyards are extremely cool. They have the breakaway clasp and everything, so we're very excited. But the ties, if you go on our website mm -hmm. and you click on the tie, it shows you a photo of the artist and tells you the artist's story. Gotcha. So it's very cool. Very cool. Well, we're eight minutes into our 10 <laughs> minutes already. <laughs> so we just, uh, again, it always goes so fast. And I'm so excited about uh, Nancy's story and what we have here today because this is a great organization. And so just uh, with our few minutes left, we just kind of like to maybe, um, we were talking a little bit before about the need for parachutes. So. How can people get in contact with you if they may have parachutes available that they can provide you and that kind of thing? So, Well, we really are very strong on mission. Mm -hmm. They have to have been military okay. used. Okay. Um, if someone maybe knows a way through the political system, <laughs> we would love to hear from them. We've had, uh, we had Congressman David Jolly working on it. We yeah. had Senator Vitters in sure. Louisiana working on right. it. And so far, we have not been able to figure out how to crack that system. Gotcha. So if somebody listening has a brainstorm, please contact me. So. Interesting. Yeah. Good, good, good deal. Well, we always like to wrap our show with... Well, Nancy, do you have anything that you... You get all these people you get to talk to today. What would you like to remind them? Um, I would like to remind them that people with disabilities of all types and maybe particularly developmental ones um, are really smarter than we are. Um, they just don't have the ability to get that out and talk about it. 
We've made some remarkable changes in people's lives through making products and mm -hmm. finding out they could sew and they didn't even know they could sew. Mm. So some of it is the opportunity to let people try it. And of course, that's the heart of our mission. That's awesome. That's that fantastic. Really it's always so good to see you. <laughs> it's and it's great to see you too, Robert. <laughs> 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 it's great to see you too. <laughs> well, that's our time today. Um, we really try to be respectful of time, and we really like to bring you the stories that matter. We're going to link up all the information down in the comments on how to get in touch with Nancy and Heaven Drop as well as how to connect with her. Maybe you do have a connection with some military parachutes somehow, but uh, life is all about living and being connected. We're super excited that we got to meet Nancy, and she's a part of our Pinellas Live community now. And uh, we always <laughs> like to end our show by making sure that you hear at least one time today that you are loved. We love you and go out and make this an exceptional day because where we live in Pinellas is exceptional. And um, Elizabeth, thanks for the time again today. You're welcome. And, and Nancy, thanks. Nice so good to meet you. you. Yep. It's awesome. All right, guys, thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Bye. I love it. So, how about aprons for us? Actually, uh, I'm struggling with this.